Oh, well, hello there. Today we're going to talk a little bit about cassette toilets. Right in front of me, we have the Thetford Porta Potty 345. This is a classic cassette toilet. We love cassette toilets at Out There Vans because of their flexibility, their portability, they're small, they're simple, they just do the job well. We'll do a deep dive into the features of this cassette toilet. We'll talk a little bit about price, competition, and then where you can find these. So looking at the features of this toilet, for one, it's a very cubed shape. It's not like a typical toilet. We find that as a huge feature for building it into your conversion van. Whether it's going in a custom slide out, it lives just simply in a drawer, or it's getting stowed away under the garage of your van, these things do not take up much room at all. Additionally, it's all made out of plastic, so an empty weight, it weighs hardly anything. Obviously, once you add in some water, some waste in the bottom, it will add some weight to this but from a base package, there's not a whole lot to it, which is awesome. Looking up top, you've got your lid and toilet seat, pretty standard, nothing fancy there. On the inside, if we take a look down on the inside, there is a black hatch. If I slide a lever out in the front, it opens up that hatch. You'll wanna do that before you use the restroom. That allows the uh, passage to be opened from this upper portion down to the removable cassette down below. If I close that up, it closes it up against a gasket, which creates a wonderful odor-proof barrier between that black water cassette area from the outside world. We've been using one of these toilets for years, and thankfully, I've never had to smell it other than when this has been open. Like I mentioned, this seal does a great job of sealing this out from the outside world. Thetford does sell a liquid. It's something you can find online at many retailers. You can even find it in most Walmarts as you're traveling down the road. Um, it is a simple solution that every time you empty out this lower reservoir, fill up a little cap full of this liquid and dump it down in that reservoir, and it just helps fight the odors that ultimately will accumulate down there. Um, additionally, on the inside of this bowl, there is a water jet that is accessed by filling up this top reservoir with fresh water. And then around on the other side, the other corner, is your hand flusher. Every time you use the toilet before you close that latch, give it a couple hand flushes and it does a great job of clearing out that toilet bowl for you. This reservoir, it holds a ton of fresh water. Uh, in our usage, we found that for about every two or three empties of this is equal to about a full tank in this upper reservoir of fresh water. Frankly, we find that we fill this up only about halfway uh, for every use just because when you remove this it's just an, a lighter weight upper package um, as opposed to lifting a bunch of heavy water every single time but back to features let's take a look at the lower cassette to remove the lower cassette there's a lever in the back if i pinch that and lift up and pull back we're revealed the cassette the cassette is a very simple setup you'll see the hatch that is located at the bottom of your toilet bowl when you're using it that hatch is loaded with a couple buttons up top that when this portion is connected to the cassette, it allows this to be opened. However, when that is removed, those buttons are no longer pressed down and you cannot accidentally open up this hatch, which is great. Um, additionally, up top, you have a spout that rotates around for emptying, a couple nice grab handles, and for emptying it, I'll just undo this cap here, grab onto my handles, and then most importantly, there is a white button by your thumb that if you press down on that, it opens up a vent in this tank. So as you pour it into your disposal method of choice, it allows air to enter that tank as the liquids are exiting and mitigates any splashing issues that could possibly go on. So be sure to use that vent. And then once I'm done, I screw this back on, twist this back around, and I will join these back together simple as that. So cassette toilets add a lot of flexibility within your van while still having a toilet. Um, I mentioned that cube shape. Another added benefit to this 345 model is the height. We find it to be the right balance of storage underneath, but also not an awkward seating height. You can get full height toilet size cassette toilets as well as composting toilets, you name it. 
This is great because it's compact. I can sit on it and it's not too awkward down to the ground, but it's also not so high that you can't conceal it in a drawer or integrate it into your build very well. They offer this in a couple different sizes that for 345, the numbers, as those numbers grow, the storage gets larger as they decrease, that gets smaller as well. And that typically coincides with the toilet getting higher or lower to the ground. The 345 is great. You can hide it under a bench in your build and ultimately your bench height remains a comfortable seating height. Additionally, the flexibility of emptying a cassette toilet is wonderful. The fact that you can remove this reservoir and carry it wherever you need to go in a very concealed package is wonderful. If you're camping in a campground and there's a pit toilet half a mile on the other end and you don't wanna make that walk in the dark, you can use the toilet in your camper and then ultimately go and empty it the next day or after three or four days of use. If you're just a weekend warrior, you can take this in your van for the weekend. You can come back, you can easily empty this right in your toilet in your house without visiting a wastewater station or anything smelly out in your dumpster. Or you're a full timer, you pass that rest stop every week, just carry it in the rest stop with you and take care of it in the toilet in there. It's pretty easy to do. Now this video is very cassette toilet focused and I understand there are other options on the market. I'll do a deep dive video in the future comparing cassette toilets to the other main competitors like the Nature's Head Toilet or the dry flush toilet. Those are also great options depending on your use case. In general, we typically will advise our clients to go with a cassette toilet for simplicity, as well as the cost benefits, this being roughly $140 retail, compared to more on the $1,000 plus side of a nature's head or a dry flush toilet. So that alone makes me wanna go with the Thetford. If you are interested in finding out more information on purchasing these, we did throw an Amazon affiliates link down in the description below of this video. If you do click that link and end up purchasing one of these toilets through there, we do get a little kickback from Amazon. So we do appreciate it if you go take a look at the information down there. I hope this gives you a better understanding of what a cassette toilet is and how it functions. If you do have any questions on cassette toilets, feel free to drop them down in the comment section down below. If you stuck with me this long talking about a toilet going inside your vehicle, be sure to hit the like button as well as subscribe so you can see future videos where we talk about products that can go in your van, different projects we're working on, or some of our Out There Vans DIY products. You'll also find a link down in the description to this toilet as well as outtherevans.com where you can find more information about our full custom van conversions. We hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.